Game 6 of the 1995 World Series. Tom Glavin's on the mound for Atlanta. Kenny Lofton's up the bat. in the ball roller, and we are using Internet Baseball League Sports Simulation. We get our row. It's a 418 against a lefty. Pop up to the shortstop. Omer Vizquel up now. He'll be batting righty. And he rolls a 10. That's going to be an exclamation. So that's basically going to be on the error chart. All right, we're on the error wild chart. So we're going to roll two die. We'll go with the red and the white. So we get a 96. We go down. It's at the very bottom. If the game is being played in Cincinnati or San Fran, swirl winds causes a high flaw to drop between the center field or second baseman and shortstop. Runners advance, all runners on all the locations, high fly ball, all runner hold. Okay, so we're not playing in Chicago or San Fran, so this is going to be a high fly ball. So we're going to determine the outfield. We roll one die, that would be the red. We get a nine, and that's going to be the right fielder. And that's going to be David Justice. Let's go back, so Vizquel hits a high fly out to David Justice. Carlos Barrega up now. He'll be batting righty. 802 will be a ground ball to center field for Barrega. Hey, with Barrega on first, Albert Bell steps up to the plate. A 660 will be another single LCF this time. Single LCF. We wrote even number. Will be all playing surfaces. Well, he's on an even row, running our first and second, may try for third. If his rating is a three or more, go to the coach's choice of card chart. So man on first and second now. That brings Murray up with man on first and second. And he's gonna bat from the right side also, 370. And that's gonna be a routine grounder to shortstop. Obelliard's gonna pick it up, fire it over to McGriff for the third out. And Cleveland strands two. Bottom of the first on the mound for Cleveland is Dennis Martinez and Marquise Grissom's up to bat. 978. That's going to be a hard grounder to shortstop. Vizquel picks it up, fires it over to Sorrento for the first out. Mark Lemke up. He'd be batting lefty, 687. That's going to be a high fly to right field. Manny Ramirez is under it. For the second out, Chipper Jones up now. He'd be batting lefty. 963 off the pitcher's card. That's going to be a hard grounder to second base. Borrega picks it up, fires it over Sorrento. For the third out, top of the second, Manny Ramirez up to bat. 123. Be a hard grounder to shortstop. Belliard picks it up, fires it over to McGriff for the first out. Jim Tomey up now. 863. That's going to be a strikeout. Tommy down looking for the second out. Got Pena up now. 856. That's going to be another K for Glavin. Pena down looking for the third out. Bottom of the second now. Fred McGriff stepping up to the plate. 934. That's going to be a K for the first out on McGriff. David Justice now. 644. High fly to center field. Kenny Lofton's under it. Makes the grab. Ryan Klesko now. 154. And that's going to be a single to left field for Klesko. For Atlanta's first base runner today. Javi Lopez up now with a man on first. 152. That's going to be a hard grounder to second base. Borrega picks it up. Fires it over to Sorrento for the third out. And after two innings, it's still 0-0. Zero zero. Martinez up to bat here in the top of the third. He'll be rolling off card one. 863. That will be a strikeout on Mark Lavin cruising along here. That's his third strikeout today. Back to the top of the order with Kenny Lofton up. 
664. It's going to be a high slider right field for the second out. Homer Vizquel up now. Bat and righty, a 46. That's going to be an E chart. We roll for the location. One die, we'll use the red. And we get a zero. So that's going to be E wild play chart. Let's roll two die on that. 993. We'll go with the first two, a 99, which we we're here before. We're not playing in any of those stadiums. We're in the other location. So it's going to be a high fly. Let's see who to who. And we get a one. It's going to be a high fly to left field. Albert Bell's under it for the catch. And that's a one, two, three inning for Glavin here in the top of the third. And we got Raphael Belliard up now. 831 off the pitcher card. He's a righty. And that's going to be a double to right center field for Belliard to get something going here with no outs. And the Atlanta Braves got a man in scoring position with Tom Glavin coming up. All right, Glavin will be batting off the three here. We're going to bunt with Glavin. He's got an excellent rating. And uh, Belliard's got a two. He's a righty. So they're going to play the infield in because the pitcher's up. So everybody's going to be in. So let's roll uh, two die. Red and white, a 36. Oh, he's got a two. Everybody's in, so he's going to go down to a one. 36 is going to be a LB at lead base. It's the defensive manager's choice. He can retire the batter at first. Or he can attempt to throw out the lead runner by going to the play at lead base chart. We're sacrificing. So we're doing a we're not going for a base hit. We're sacrifice bunning. Okay, so we need to roll on the sacrifice bunning chart here. And uh he's got an excellent rating. We're on grass. We rolled a 36, so we're gonna stay with that. And it looks like a SH, which will be a sacrifice hit. So I'm going to consider SH a sacrifice hit. So he rolled a 36. He's going to be very good. Let's roll see who uh, fills it. It's going to be the third baseman. Uh, very good. We're going to, uh, he rolled a Gladwin sacrifice. He rolled a 36 on the very good because everybody was playing in. So he's able to get the ball down. And that's going to move Belliard. Hold on, Belliard was on second. A man on second. Third baseman came in and got it. That moved Belliard over. Let's see, sacrifice hit for Glavin. Gonna move the runner over. He bunted. All right, Glavin sacrificed Belliard over to third with a great bunt. That brings up Grissom now with one out with a man on third. 872 will be a deep fly. That should be good enough to bring in Belliard from third. Let's go to deep fly chart. A roll. Let's see. Location die. See who it's going. We'll roll one. A red. We get a zero. And he's a right spray hitter. So it's going to be a left field line. Headed down the foul line. Roll two die. We get a 22. We go down here to the A. It's where it is. Zero to 30. Ball hooks foul. Return to normal play sequence. So it was a foul ball. Just when they thought it was going to bring him in, it swings foul for Marquise Grissom. Let's roll again. 815. Pitcher's card here. That's going to be a ground ball to center field. Marquise Grissom's going to bring in Belliard from third and is 1 0 here in game six with the Braves taking the lead with the must win situation today. Mark Lemke up now with a man on first. 444 gets a ready. It's going to be a high fly to center field. Lofton's under it. Makes the catch. 
for out number two. Chipper Jones now. Two down. 478. High fly ball to center field again. Kenny Lofton getting a lot of action out there tonight, and that'll be our third out. But after three, Atlanta has a lead. One to zero here in game six. Bottom of the fourth. Carlos Barrega up now. He rolls a 70, which will be a liner to second base. Albert Bell now. 896 will be a strikeout. Tom Glavin still dealing today. And Albert Bell goes down looking. That's going to bring up Murray now. 931. That's going to be a hard grounder to shortstop. Belliard picks it up. Fires over to McGriff for the third out. Fred McGriff up to bat. 302. That's going to be a base on ball. David Justice now with a man on first. 182. That's going to be a home run for David Justice. With a smack out to right field for a two-run shot. To put a Braves up 3-0. to zero. And Dennis Martinez is in trouble. They're going to give him a little more room to wiggle here. Before they take him out. Let's go up now. 248. And we're going to get ourselves a back-to-back -back home runs from Justice and Klesko. Make it 4-0. to zero. And they are going to pull Martinez. That's going to bring in Jim Poole. The bottom of the fourth. Braves trying to force a game seven. Javi Lopez up. 148. Hard grounder to second base. Picks it up. Fires over to Sorrento. And that's going to be our first out. Belliard up now. He rolled a 70. That's going to be a liner to the shortstop for our second out. Tom Glavin up. Hitting off the number three card here. Two down. He rolls a 8-10. That'll be a slow grounder over to Sorrento. He picks it up. Tags the base for the third out. And after four, it is now four to zero, Atlanta Braves. That brings Manny Ramirez up. 491. Manny Ramirez is going to get a double to the right field wall. And they got a man in scoring position here with no outs. It's going to bring Tommy up now. Man on second. 57 versus a left. We're going to go to the E chart. Okay, let's roll for the location. We get a 1. That's going to be on the pitcher. Glavin has a 9. Go 2 die on the 9. 70. That's going to be a hard grounder. So a hard grounder with a man on second. Ball hit to the right side, runner to third. Ball hit to the left side, runner holds. What about if the pitcher's got it? So it's a hard grounder. So yeah, Manny's going to go back to second and... Glavin's going to fire over to first for the first out. Okay, so Tommy's out. He couldn't move the runner over. That brings up Pena now. 9.42 will be a hard grounder to shortstop. That's going to hold Ramirez again from advancing. All right, Herb Perry's up. He's got excellent power versus lefties. With a man on second, two down. 105. That's going to be a hard grounder to shortstop to get Glavin out of the inning. And after five, four to zero Atlanta. Bottom of the fifth, Marquise Grissom up to bat. Ken Hill's on the mound. We get a 440, be a high fly to center field. Kenny Lofton's under it, grabs it for the out. Mark Lemke up now. 747. High fly ball to left field. That's going to be Albert Bell to make the catch for the second out. Chipper Jones up the bat now. 7.62. He'll be a lefty on the pitcher card. That's going to be a slow grounder to first base. That's going to be Sorrento picking it up for the third out. And after five innings. Atlanta is leading 4-0 here in Game 6.
Top of the six. Gladden still on the mound, rolling through here. Kenny Lofton up. 721. Lefty. The pitcher card. That's going to be a ground ball single to center field for Kenny Lofton. Brings up by Skell now with Kenny on first. Rolls a 535. It's an outfielder range. Okay, we're on the outfielder range chart. So he'll be a right spray hitter. He's bad and righty. Two die. We get an 82. That's going to be down the line. Left field. Klesko's range is a B. Down the line, B. 0 through 89 is a dive and catch. 90 to 99 is a cutoff. So we get a dive and catch for down the line. The fielder makes fantastic dive and catch. Runner on third may attempt to score by going to the coach's choice card. Other, other runners hold. So that's going to be a, uh, a great dive and catch by Klesko. Lofton's going to hold. Okay, Carlos Barrega up the bat. 774 as a righty off the pitcher card. That's going to be a slow grounder to third base. We're going to see if he could, if they can able to turn a double. Slow grounder, runner right in is greater than two. Batter out of first, runner advances a second. His uh, run range is a three, so Lofton is going to move over. All right, Albert Bell is up. Zero fifty eight. That's going to be a liner to shortstop. Belliard's there for the grab, and that's the third out. And after six, it's still zero to four. Okay, bottom of the six, Fred McGriff steps up to the plate. Rolls a 750 off the pitcher card on the left-hand side. High fly to left field. David Justice now. 698. Yep, slow grounder to shortstop. Vascale picks it up. Fires over to Murray. For the second out, that brings Klusko up now. 97, a hard grounder to second base. Marega picks it up, fires over to Murray for the third out. Now after six, zero to four. Right, that brings Murray to the plate. Tom Glavin in here in the seventh inning. 370, AK. Murray goes down looking. Manny Ramirez up now. Cleveland needs to get something going here. He sees a righty, so he's taking on a lefty at 44. That's going to be on the E chart. I roll dice, find out who it is. One. I got an eight. That's going to be an error on the on the east on C. So the center fielder is going to come into play on the error check. Okay, Grissom is a has an eight for an error. So let's roll on it. He's got an eight. He rolls a 78. On the eight, that's going to be 26 through 99. That's going to be a high fly ball to the center fielder. I believe he told me 848 against a lefty. 848, that will be a K for Tom Glavin on Tommy. And that'll be third out here in the top of the seventh. Zero to four. We're going to the bottom now with Atlanta coming up. Javi Lopez up to bat now. Let's find out how many innings Hills went already. We'll call this his last inning. Lopez up. 591. And that would be a slow grounder to shortstop. And Vasquez scoops it up. Fires over to Murray for the first out. Rafael Belliard now. 116. That would be a hard grounder to shortstop. Vasquez again. Picks it up. Fires over to Murray again for the second out. Right, that's going to bring up Glavin now. He's batting on the three side of the card. 200. And Glavin's going to get a single to left field. Grissom now. 388. That's going to be a pop up to second base. That will be the third out. And still after seven, zero to four. Tony Pena up to bat now versus Glavin here. This will be probably Glavin's last inning. 848. 48, that's going to be a strikeout. And he goes down swinging. And then Hill. So we're going to pinch hit for Hill. Wayne Kirby comes in to pitch hit for Ken Hill. Taking on Glavin. Lefty on lefty. 151. Be off his card. A single to left field. 
with one out, they have a man on first now. Kenny Lofton back up with a man on. 367. Double to the left field wall. Go to the chart. LFW. What runner on second or third? Runner on first. See below. Two through seven. He gets to take two bases plus choice. Does Kirby have a two, two plus seven? Let's go check out Kirby. Kenny Lofton doubles over to doubles to the left field wall. Kirby moves over to third. They held him up with one out. That brings up Vizquel. Tom Glavin's in some trouble here. Gonna let him go one more. Gets a 441. And he's gonna be batting righty. 441, that's gonna be a high fly to center field. Let's go check that out. That should bring in the run. Batter on third May 8th to score by going to the coach's choice. Okay, they got one out. They need a run. He's got a three. And we're gonna go to the coach's choice chart. Base running Raiders adjust rating adjustments. Add or subtract on the throw from the outfield. We gotta find out the outfielder's throwing arm. It's showing minus, so it's gonna go three to a two. All right, let's roll on it. it says minus. Here we go. Roll two dice, a 25, and it says standing. Let's go down to stand. A runner is safe standing up. Batters and other runners hold. By scale, sacrifice hits out to center field. Kirby tags up and scores. Loft, Lofton holds at second. Now with two outs and a man on second, that brings up Barrega. Can he bring the run in for him? He rolls a 160, and that's going to be a double to the right center field wall. That's going to bring Lofton home on the double. That makes it 2-4. to four. Glavin's in trouble. They're not going to mace any more time. They're going to bring, they're going to get Glavin out of there. That's going to bring in Mark Wohlers now. Atlanta brings in Wohlers out of the pen. Stop this madness. They need to win this game. And that's going to bring up Albert Bell now. All right, here we go. Albert Bell's up. Two out. Man on second. 326 against the righty. That's going to be a base on balls for Albert Bell. That's going to be a man on first and second. That's going to bring Murray up to take the lead. If he can hit a home run, that'll put him in the lead. This is a big time at bat. Murray up. 973. A base on balls. And we have bases loaded for Rub Maris coming up. Oh, man. Big time trouble for Atlanta. Manny Ramirez now. Bases loaded, 497, and that's going to be a high fly to center field. Grissom's under it for the catch, for the third out, and Atlanta gets out of trouble here in the top of the eighth, two to four. Lemke. Mark Lemke up the bat. Uh, Cleveland brings in Allen Embry here. 941. Be off the pitcher card. He'll be batting right. 941. That's going to be a base on boss. That's going to bring up Chipper Jones now. 416. It's going to be a routine grounder shortstop with a man on first. Team grounder, man on first, runner out of second. Batter safe at first. And they can't turn the double. Chipper Jones is on first now. Fred McGriff up to bat now. 979. And that's going to be a base on ball. Fred McGriff, two on now with one out. Man on first and second, one out. Justice, he's a lefty on the pitcher card, 704. That's going to be a strikeout for out number two with man on first and second. And that brings up Klesko now. And Klesko bringing an insurance run, a 42. That's going to be uh, on the E chart. Row one die. Use the red, a 9. That's going to be the air on the right fielder. Manny Ramirez. 
Manny's error rating is a five. Roll the two die. On the five, he rolls a 73. And that's going to be a pop out to Manny over in the right field. And that will be the third out. Uh, that'll be the third out to end the bottom of the eighth. And the Braves leave runners stranded for some insurance runs. So we go to the top of the ninth now. Wollers is pitching. And that brings up Jim Tomey. This is Cleveland's last shot here. Otherwise, we're going to a game seven. All right, Jim Tomey. 394 against a righty. That's going to be a strikeout. It's going to bring up Pena. 598. A slow ground and a shortstop for the second out. One out to go. And then we're going to go to a game seven when Atlanta was down three games to one. Gonna, we're going to bring in a pinch hitter now. Wohler's up there. Let's go to the bench. Okay, Paul Sorrento comes in. This is a Cleveland's last shot. Two down. Sorrento get on base. 456 against a righty. That will be a pop-up to the shortstop. Bell yards under it, makes the catch, and the Braves are going to a game seven. After being down three games to one, Cleveland has fallen apart. Until the next replay, stay tuned.